the fifth Sunday in Easter, year B. From the Gospel according to John, abide in me as I abide in you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings this week are talking about abiding in Jesus, and we may be relieved to discover that it's not actually about having a fixed location. Philip encounters the Ethiopian eunuch on the road, and Jesus himself was continually on the road. So abiding with him is going to require some movement from place to place, and some willingness to make do with wherever and with whomever we find ourselves, and whatever it is that we find at hand there just as the eunuch makes do with a chariot, a passing apostle, and a bit of roadside water. Abiding in Jesus is not a matter of some particular time or place, but of declaring with our psalmist that all peoples, all places, and all generations belong to the Lord. Abiding in Jesus, therefore, means that we are always at home, bound to perform our vows always and everywhere, not only where, when, and with whom we feel at home. John's letter reminds us that the house rules are that those who love God must love their kindred also. For when we fail to love our kindred whom we've seen and heard, we cannot love God whom we have not seen and only rarely heard. We must abide with our kindred, not just vaguely or in general, but within all their particularity, as members of the same household, first seeing them and then loving them as the people that they really are, so that God's love might be perfected in us. Toleration is only a starting point, a place to pause the chariot so that someone can get in and sit beside us. Love comes as we continue on together, unfolding to one another both the story of ourselves and the story of God in the scriptures. Abiding means not only attachment to, but mutual support from those with whom we abide, drawing nourishment from that in which we're abiding, and using that nourishment to bear fruit just is the difference between a fruitful branch and a dead one. We must become both givers and takers of spiritual nourishment, both confessing and receiving from others the confession that Jesus is the Son of God, both attaining from and sharing with others the knowledge of the love God has for us. That mutuality is what it means to abide in Jesus, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. <laughs>